Nine-year-old Sedekia's days were numbered. A serious heart condition was threatening to end his young life. His mother gave up everything and left Tanzania's Kigoma region to save her son's life. Luckily for Sedekia, the Muhimbili National Hospital in Dar es Salaam is holding a heart treatment camp for children. The children and their parents were desperate for medical treatment. I was in shock and pain. You know, I'm a poor single mother. It took contributions from well-wishers for me to make it here. Pediatric cardiology is a highly specialized branch of medicine. In all of Tanzania, there are only four pediatric cardiologists and just one single pediatric cardiatric surgeon. Now a team of 20 people from Israel and Germany have come and are helping improve the capacity to perform these complex procedures while saving lives. Just a few years ago, procedures like these were impossible in Tanzania. Now, one operation at a time, children's lives are being saved. The center plans to have six more camps in 2018. Doctors from across the globe will be coming in to share knowledge and assist with the operations. The first ever female pediatric cardiologist in Tanzania says the camps are necessary to save young lives. The team that is here is the same team that trained us when we were in Israel. Uh, so it's like a continuation of training. So they trained us in their environment and now they're coming back to us, continuing training in our own environment. The camps will focus on both open and closed heart procedures. And the head of the center takes these matters to heart as he lost his father to a heart attack. He is on a mission to increase the number of heart specialists in Tanzania. That sustainability plan is already set in with the institute. So I'm sure come here 20, 2022, the number will definitely go up. So I believe strongly in another five years, we are going to be the strongest uh, heart center in Africa. Because of the desperate need for more cardiology specialists, doctors based here hope that with each camp, they'll improve their skills and will be able to save more lives. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.